After winning their first 10 games of the season, many with relative ease, the Gales' win streak came to a halt on the road against the Ironheads in their 11th contest. For many of the Gales, it was their first regular season loss with the club. The team hadn't dropped a decision since June 12, 2009. They dealt with it by winning three straight over Mississauga, Newmarket and Nepean, chalking up 51 goals for and 15 against. Sometimes you just got to keep working through your system, keep working through what you what you preach and then eventually when the goals start going in they start getting comfortable again and say okay this w this works you know just because we you have a bump in the road doesn't mean you you know scratch it all off and start new it's you know it, it is what it is that happened yeah it's definitely something we didn't do uh, we came out slow today but we definitely got going second and third uh, a lot of big goals lately really got us back on track coming off a loss it's always tough to get back into it the gales have almost become accustomed to winning games by large margins the thinking is some closer games, such as the ones against Oakville and Newmarket, and even the loss, serves the team better than running the table. Oh, I think it's actually good for us, just because playoffs are coming up soon and prepares for that. Up and having some good tests really helps us going down the road. You know, playing hard games is definitely going to be a key later on in the playoffs. It's all learning experience for the playoffs. That's what you're learning. You know, sometimes you just, it's hard to do. Or go 20 and 0, and you you know you're looking for how they react to losses, and sometimes it's a harsh reality, especially in a short five-game series. With a new defensive system in place this season and slightly larger nets in Junior B, the target for goals against has been set at six. The Gales have met that in all but two of their games. Kudos to to Brad and his defensive system, and, and you know, we're up there with goals too. So you know, Joel's done a really good job up there. We need to tweak anything. We just got to stay focused with what we're doing. Keep our heads in the game, side of the box, we'll be fine. The New Market Saints are one of only two teams to break that six goals against Mark. The Gales will host them in their next game Thursday, June 2nd.